This is a short video, Mrs. Riley's Maths videos. Today I'm talking about, not about Baby Yoda, but about coordinate geometry of the circle. So good to see you. Glad that you're uh, watching this video. And I'm just going to run through what I call the must knows about the coordinate geometry of the circle for the Leaving Certificate Ordinary Level course. Okay, that's terrible writing there. Okay, so very quick video. The, the must know. The first must know is to be able to find the equation and recognize the equation of a circle that has center 0, 0 and radius length r. Okay, so here's a circle. What's, what's important about a circle is its center, its radius length. That's what determines where it is on a page and it ter determines how big it is. Okay, so those are the two key facts that you need to know. So for instance, if I have a circle here that has a, a, a radius of 1, that's what it would look like. That's a circle with center 0, 0, a radius of 1. Here's a circle that is center 0, 0, and a radius of 3. In other words, the distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle is 3 units. That's 3 units. So that has a radius of 3. And finally, let's do 5. So here's a circle with center 0, 0, and radius of 5. Okay, so the equations of those circles all follow the same shape, okay? They all are x squared plus y squared. Now that stays as x squared and y squared. They don't change when we're making up the equation of the circle. So every single equation we're going to have of a circle that has center 0, 0 and radius uh, r will have this format x squared plus y squared equals okay and you see you can see there that I've drawn those down here so every circle has has that kind of shape if it has a center 0 0 it has an x squared plus y squared and then r squared r is the radius so for instance let's take this one at the very center let's call it a has a radius of 1 then its equation is x squared plus y squared equals 1 squared which in its finished form is x squared plus y squared equals 1. Let's say circle 2 is b, and it, we said, has a radius of 3. So it's x squared plus y squared equals 3 squared, which works through to be x squared plus y squared equals 9. And circle c had a radius of 5. So it has an equation x squared plus y squared equals 5 squared, which leads to be x squared plus y squared equals 25. It's that easy, okay? If you know the radius and you know the center is 0, 0, it's x squared plus y squared plus the radius number squared. So say I said the radius was 4 and as a center 0, 0, it would be x squared plus y squared is equal to 4 squared. x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. Or say it had a radius of 12 and a center 0, 0, it would be x squared plus y squared is equal to 12 squared x squared plus y squared is equal to 144. Okay, now sometimes you're given the equation and asked to write down the center and the radius. So say we were told that we've got an equa uh, a circle D, x squared plus y squared equals 36, and you're asked to find the center and find the radius. Well, the first thing is the center is just 0, 0, because any circle with equation x squared plus y squared equals a number, has a center 0, 0. The radius, well, x squared plus y squared equals 36 is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So we know, as we can see all the way along here, r squared is 36. r squared is the number that's on the right-hand side. So r is equal to the square root of 36. In other words, what number multiplies by itself to get 36? The answer is 6. So this circle here has a center 0, 0, a radius of 6. Let's do one more. x squared plus y squared is equal to 121. The center is 0, 0. r squared is 121. So r is the square root of 121 is 11. So it's got a center of 0, 0 and a radius of 11. Okay, a couple more. x squared plus y squared is equal to 81. So it has a center, 0, 0. What's the radius? r squared is 81, so r is the square root of 81, r is equal to 9. Okay, I hope that helps. Very short video. I'll come back to you at the next step later on. Bye.